So I just had a, a really subtle, deep thought that is, if I hold on to it, it's going to change my internal landscape. So I'm very proud of the way that I have handled uh, being dumped, although I wasn't really dumped, but you know, coming out for a relationship. Because um, I have maintained equanimity through the uh, the path. <laughs> you know? Sometimes it's uh, been feeling like a relief, and other times, like the time when I went into the city and had to find an alleyway and found myself having a little bit of a breakdown crying, sobbing, wailing, snot, tears and loud noises. But inside I just, I did actually maintain uh, observance of what was happening and uh, mostly observed that this has nothing to do with breaking up with the ex. It has to do with feeling totally alone in the world and that has to do with a deep core wound of having a rather absent father and I am now an adult you know I, I don't I don't need a father so it's kind of obsolete patterning of wounds coming through and I felt quite grateful for the whole experience even though um, if anyone had seen me, it could have been very embarrassing, but fortunately no one did. So I'm, I'm proud of how I've come out of that relationship. And yet, my mind keeps going around chuggy 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 on the same train tracks of was it a good decision? Could things have been different? What he did to me, what I did to him, what kind of person am I to have got to such a depraved level what kind of person is he is he when he's all shiny and nice is that real and underneath is some monster or is that monster on the outside and inside is some little boy and it makes me want to go and save him chugga 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 analyzing emotions analyzing feelings analyzing how he must have felt how i must have felt whether i did feel like that whether he did feel like this it's been i don't know more than a month that we've been separated and uh, a day doesn't go by without me thinking something about him oh i've made double porridge by mistake you know, I'm used to making porridge for two, now I'm one. He likes cardamom in his porridge, I'm not that fussed, etc. And the deeper thoughts. And sometimes crying because I miss him, realising actually I miss who I dreamed he was. But I don't miss who he converted into in our relationship. And I'm sure he doesn't miss what I converted into. And it goes on and on and on. And suddenly I'm here meditating. And I get this very subtle, powerful thought that it is now over. It doesn't exist any longer. You're free from all of that thinking. You don't have to keep thinking. It's like some obsolete ex-communist pamphlet making that keeps back like the printers bang bang after the the iron curtain has fallen bang 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 propaganda putting that propaganda completely obsolete is not connected to reality any longer this thinking that's going on in my head is obsolete it doesn't exist my ex is not in my reality any longer but i keep drawing it in drawing it in so that i won't feel alone so that i won't feel that we're separated and we are and actually it's a gift to stop thinking it and suddenly it's like oh, wow freedom a blank canvas to make life 
as I dream it.